Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I wanted to dive into the different tools that I use in order to enhance my Bible study and the different ways that I use them. I talked previously in our first video on my planner and my journal and the fact that I use highlighters and different Bibles that I use. However, I wanted to go a little bit deeper in the ways that I use them in this particular video. I have my planner and my notebook here. I will usually keep all of my notes in my planner, but I also have a notebook that I carry with me on the go. And this is the notebook that I take with me every single Sunday to church. Now this is different from my brainstorming notebook or a commonplace notebook. This notebook I specifically keep only for my church and Bible study notes. So while we are in church, I am usually going to be jotting down different notes as Tori is preaching. And this just helps me to be able to transfer from here into my planner later on. I just like to put it into here initially because this notebook is smaller and I'm able to carry it with me at all times. So as you can see, I am just kind of jotting down notes as Tori is preaching in here. And this is a pretty new one. Um, so as the weeks go on, I am going to use this probably for the entire year. And then that way I have all of the scriptures that he have preached, all of our Bible studies are in here. And I'm gonna talk about the tick marks and how I use them in a second. But first, let me show you how I am using the faith planner that's actually in my planner. So along with my notebook, when I get home, I will use my actual faith planner. My faith planner, I will have prayers listed out here. And on my monthly pages, I will have prayers of different things that I want to pray for every single day. And I will just write down different notes and scriptures to myself. And then when it gets into the weeks, every single day, I will do the verse of the day. And then I will do a particular Bible study, which is basically going deeper from whatever I was either reading on my own or whatever we were discussing in church. So for instance, last Bible study, we gave a homework assignment of doing a deeper dive into James 1, 19 through 25. So this is my actual homework where I was doing a deeper dive on that topic and I was writing out notes and then I would just pop this page into my planner so that I can have it. So I have my verse of the day of every single day. I get this from the YouVersion Bible app. I will usually write out the verse and then I will write out my explanation or the deeper dive into that verse. And then for the last section here, I will write out my prayer for the overall week. And so that's how I use that. I will do that every single day where I'm writing out the verse of the day and then I will pick a particular topic and I will do a deeper dive, a Bible study on that topic. So I will use my notebook to take notes on the go and then I will do deeper dives into my planner. So let me talk about the highlights, the underlines and what everything means. I highly recommend that you get some type of tick mark system, some type of marking system whenever you start to study the Bible because it will help to enhance your Bible study. So when it comes to my tick marks, anytime we are doing some type of scripture, so this was on Matthew 5 and 8. And once I read this scripture, pure in heart stood out to me and I wanted to do a deeper dive or a definition of pure in heart. So when I read it, I was like, what does that mean? I want to circle it so that I can remind myself to do a deeper dive later on. So anytime you see a circle in my scripture, that reminds myself that I want to do a deeper dive or I want to define that particular term. So I will do that throughout all of my studies. As you can see, I circled righteousness of God. I wanted to do a deeper dive on that. I had implanted word here. I wanted to do a deeper dive into that. So what I will do is if I see implanted word, I circle it and then I decided to define it. So I will look up the blue letter Bible or look at some type of commentary and try and go deeper into that particular term, the righteousness of God. I saw that term, I circled it, and then I did 
a deeper dive. So anytime I circle a particular topic, that means that I want to define it. I want to go deeper. I want to find out what does the Bible mean when it is saying this particular word. Another thing that I will do is underline and I underline to emphasize something. This just means that I want to make sure that I am particularly paying attention to a word or a set of words and I want to emphasize it so that I can pray on it or be inspired by it or whatever the case may be. As you can see, I underlined this entire sentence. We must put God first in every thought, word, and action. So I underlined it twice to make sure that I was emphasizing that I wanted to apply that to my life. So I will circle things that I want to define. I will underline things that I want to emphasize and I will do that throughout my Bible studies to make sure that as I am reading scripture, I am paying attention to certain sentences, certain segments, and they are really standing out to me. The third thing that I will do is highlight. So my highlights usually mean different things in different parts of my system. When I am highlighting in my monthly calendar, this just means that if I wrote something down that I prayed on this particular topic. So I'm, I usually will write it down in black. So let's say the upcoming men's event. I wanna pray for this event. And there's an event coming up on the 30th. It's the prayer brunch. I wanna pray on that event. When that time comes and I pray on it, I will highlight it. And so that's what I will do throughout every single day. I will write something out and and then as I am praying on it, I will highlight it to let myself know that I actually did pray on it. Another way that I will use my highlights is in the actual weeks. So every single day throughout my weeks, I am writing out the verse of the day. I write out the verse of the day and then I will usually go and do a deeper dive or a definition or how am I going to apply this to my life. So that is where I will highlight my definition or what does this scripture mean or how am I going to apply this or the prayer that I need to make sure that I am applying this and that is what I am highlighting here. So the first part of this, the part that's not highlighted is the actual scripture. So it, it says, my commandment is this, love one another just as I love you, which is John 15 and 12. And then when I am doing a deeper dive, I am going to highlight that part. While loving others may ultimately give us something in return, the reward is inconsequential. We love others for their sake, not for ours. And so that is the deeper dive. That's the explanation of why we need to do this. And so many times I will write that out, but since it's not the actual scripture itself, I will highlight it to let myself know that this is an explanation of the scripture above. The different colors don't mean anything. I just wanted to highlight every single time I wrote out the scripture and the definition or the explanation for that scripture. So that is how I will use my notebook and my faith planner. My faith planner is where I will do my deeper dive. My notebook is where I will take the initial notes when we are in church or in Bible study. Another thing that I will do is in my actual Bibles. So I have three Bibles that I use consistently. The first one is my journaling Bible and this is probably the prettiest one of the bunch because this one is where I will add different colors. I will add notes in my margins. I will change colors just as I am going through the word. I will highlight, I will underline, I will circle all of the things that I do in my actual actual faith planner. But this is a way that I will highlight, go deeper into the word and actually journal within my Bible. My margin notes could apply to almost anything. Some of them are notes where I am actually talking about the scripture itself. Some of them are life application and how I'm going to apply this particular scripture to my life. And some of them are how I have realized something or something kind of stood out to me when I was reading this again. So if I talked about a particular scripture and then I would 
kind of write notes to myself of like watch what I was listening or watch what I was eating things like that so it's just different things that I wanted to emphasize or different things that would stick out to me so it's just one of the ways that I am able to stay connected as I am reading the word is by adding in my journaling notes writing in exactly what I am reading highlighting and emphasizing highlighting things that I want to pray about or highlighting things that I need to apply to my life it is just a way for me to do that another Bible that I will use is my prayer Bible and my prayer Bible is the oldest Bible that I own um, and so this one's really really old it's very very beat up but I love this one mainly because this was like the first Bible that I got when I really really got serious about my journey and so even though it's super super beaten up it's my favorite and I don't think I will ever get rid of it so Another thing that I would do in this one though, this one's not as pretty as my journaling Bible, but this is the one where I started off so I can see a lot of my growth throughout this Bible based on the notes and the different things that I wrote in. This is one of the ways that I will use it as well is writing questions and asking myself different things in my Bible. The last Bible that I use on a consistent basis is my inductive Bible. Now this is the newest one to the bunch but i do love this one because of the maps and the things in the very front of this bible i love this bible and i love the visuals which is probably my favorite part of this bible because they have the temples they have timelines they just it is such a beautiful bible and i have all of these linked in my amazon shop so i will put them in the description box below but if you just love looking at pictures and want to visualize what the world looked like back then this is the bible to get if you are struggling with trying to figure out the timelines and the history and who did what and what was happening at what time this is definitely the bible that will help you with that because it talks about the kingdoms it has the pharaohs of egypt it has the historical books of the bible there's just so much in here and it is a wealth of knowledge that really helps you to form the picture in your mind of what was going Going on and how it looked so these are the three Bibles that I will use consistently my inductive Bible in order to see a lot of the different things that was going on and get a picture in my mind my prayer Bible when I am praying on a particular topic or writing a lot of questions in this one has a lot of great prayers in here as well um, in the margins and in the back so I, I don't think I showed y'all this but in the back they have like different things that you may be praying on and how you can and scriptures that relate to them so praying effectively for others praying for the promises of God prayers of praise prayers of repentance all of that is in the back of the Bible so it's like this one so it's an index where you can look up the different scriptures look at them highlight look at passages or scriptures that relate to the different problems that you may be having and so this one helps you a lot with prayer this one helps you with visualizing what's going on and this one really will help you with prayer and then my journaling bible is the one that i can write on the sidelines and just make pretty and be able to write throughout the entire bible so those are the three bibles that i use and how i use them and then I already told you about my planner and how I use that and the notebook that I will carry with me on the go. So I hope that this video has helped you as you are creating your own system for your Bible journaling. Think of the tick marks that you want to create. Think of how you want your system to flow. And it may take you some time to get adjusted to the different things that you wanna do. So make sure that you start simple. You may wanna start with just the notebook. And then as you get comfortable with using your notebook and your Bible, then you may expand from there. So I hope that this video has helped you all. On Wednesday, we are going to do another live Bible study talking about this topic. So I will see you all then make sure that you download the empowerment app so that you can get all of the homework assignments the pdfs and all of the additional things that we send out and until then be encouraged be enlightened be empowered bye guys